rest of the video. I just thought I'd pop in and do an intro just to explain the whole video and everything. But today I am doing my first video for my formal series. I am so excited for you guys to see this because I've been working really hard on it. So I've got three videos in this formal series and this is the first one. And I've actually collaborated with Glam Corner on these videos. So they sent me out a few of their dresses and I've been wearing them in all of them. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway in this video and in each of the videos with their dresses for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned to find out all the details. So if you're not from Australia, you might be thinking, um, it's not our prom or formal season right now, but it is here in Australia, which is why I'm making these videos. So I wanted to give you guys some inspiration for hair looks, outfit looks, and makeup looks. And today's formal look is actually inspired by Gigi Hadid at the Met Gala in 2015. I just like loved her dress and her hair and makeup was amazing. So it's really natural, very glowy, and really beachy hair. So I wore this dress from Glam Corner, which is so gorgeous. So I really hope you guys like this look, and if it's not to your taste, I've got two more videos coming out after this, which are very different to this one as well, so make sure you watch all of them. Also, just so you don't miss any of my videos, make sure you press the bell to turn my notifications on, so you'll be notified every time I upload a video, and you won't miss any of this series. And also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel. So I really hope you guys like this video, and let's just get into it. For my base, I'm starting off with my Napoleon Purtis Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer. This is an essential for formal because it will make my foundation last all night and it also fills in my pores which is great as well. I'm then going in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this stuff because it's so full coverage but somehow it still manages to look like skin. I do find that this foundation dries very quickly though so I have to blend it into my skin really really fast. I'm now using my Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer and I'm just going to be putting this under my eyes and to cover some blemishes. It also is great for highlighting as well. I really like this concealer. I seriously think it's just as good as some high-end concealers that I own. I'm now going in with my Clinique Chubby in the Nude and I'm using the shade 24 Gargantuan Golden. I love the look of bronzy skin so I kind of go crazy with the cream bronzer and as you guys will see later, I also put a powdered bronzer on top. I just find using a cream bronzer before a powder bronzer really makes it pop and it also obviously sets the cream bronzer in place so it lasts so much longer. I also like to do the same thing with my blush and highlighter. So the blush that I'm using is another Clinique Chubby Stick and it's in the shade 01 Amped Up Apple. A random tip that I thought I'd just chuck in for you guys that I learned the other day, it's not smile too hard when you're putting on your blush because I feel like this is a bit of a misconception and everyone smiles when they put on blush. But when you stop smiling, that means that your face will kind of sag down and then the blush will be in the wrong spot so just kind of um I don't know do a little smirk instead of like a big smile this cream highlight is so pretty it's in the shade 02 super starlight and you could definitely use this on its own I've been doing that lately and I feel like it gives you a really nice natural glow but I am going to put a powder highlight on top of this afterwards since we want a really intense highlight for formal I'm now going to set my base with a powder and this is a NYX no filter powder so I'm just going to put this everywhere I'm now swapping out the powder for a different shade this is still a powder but it's actually a lot darker so I like to use it as a bronzer so I'm just going to put this around my face and this will just set my bronzer in place as well, the cream bronzer that I put on earlier and it just gives me a really nice glow. This powder it doesn't look too matte as well which I really like so it definitely gives you that glow that you want. I'm now going to be using my Maybelline Master Contour Set and I'm going in with a contour shade and I'm just going to contour my cheeks. I recently got told by a makeup artist to try contouring on a bit more of a straight angle instead of following my cheekbone and just going in a diagonal and this will lift my cheekbones even more and I've been loving the way it's been looking. I'm now taking the blush shade in the palette and I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheeks and blending up. And to finish off my base, I had to use my favorite highlighter, which is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. So I'm just going to be putting this on the high points of my face. To fill in my brows, I'm using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I'm just going to be filling these in slightly. I'm then setting my brows in place with my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I love this stuff. It just makes my brows stay in place. I also like to brush them up a little bit to make my brows look even thicker. I just love this look. The first eyeshadow I'm going to be using is by Makeup Geek and it's this pale shimmery color in the shade Shimmer Shimmer and I'm just going to be packing this all over my lid. I'm now taking another Makeup Geek eyeshadow and this is in the shade Peach Smoothie and I'm just going to blend this into my crease. Now I'm moving on to eyeliner and I'm using my Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen and I found this actually pretty hard to do so I did most of it off of camera but I included the bits on camera that looked like I knew what I was doing. For my mascara I'm using my Clinique Lash Power Flutter to Full Mascara and I'm just going to be coating my top lashes and my bottom lashes even though I am going to be putting false eyelashes on after this as well. And as for my lashes I went for these Glam by Manicare ones. These are the 51 Hazel and they're super natural. I really like the look of them. To line my lips I'm 
using my Rimmel Moisture and New Lip Liner. And then to finish off the lips and the whole look, I'm using this Maybelline lipstick in the shade 015 Born With It. And funny enough, this is actually the same lipstick that Gigi wore to the Met Gala in 2015. So I thought I have to use it since I am recreating that look. And fun fact about Gigi's makeup look, all the products were drugstore. I'm pretty sure all of them were Maybelline actually. And I obviously didn't use all of the exact products that she used because I did use some high-end ones. But I was pretty happy to find out that I had the exact same lipstick that she had. Now onto my hair, I'm going to recreate Gigi's loose waves that she had at the Met Gala and I'm just going to start out by brushing my hair. I actually had second day hair when I filmed this which I actually think worked really well and held the curls even better. I'm starting off by putting some of this Kuhn Blend Volume Powder in my hair and I just feel like this makes the texture so much easier to work with and it makes the curls hold even better. It also gives me a little bit of volume at the top of my head which I really like and absorbs some of the oils. I'm now going in with my curling iron and you want to focus the curls at the end of your hair which will give it a really nice beachy look and I believe I've got a medium barrel which is about one inch so I feel like this gives the perfect curl for this look. For my first two curls I curl away from my face which just frames my face so much but then after that I go in alternate directions every single time and this is really important if you want to achieve that beachy kind of curly look. It just stops the curls from all coming together and joining and yeah it just breaks them up a little bit so I really like that look. I then sprayed my hair with my Redken Quick Dry Hair Spray and I do this before I brush my hair out with my fingers and I feel like this gives a really nice effect when you brush it out after you apply hairspray because it gets rid of the crunchiness and just makes your hair all nice and soft but the hairspray still makes the curls hold. I also wait until my curls have gone cold before I brush them out because then they are set in their place and the curls shouldn't fall out. <laughs> first video from my formal series. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you were wondering where the shoes and earrings were from that I was wearing in the video, the shoes are from Freelance. I think I got these for my formal actually, my one two years ago. So I reused them. And the earrings that I wore are from Colette. And I just had these at home. They're super cute little dangly earrings. As for the giveaway, I'll write everything down below, but I'll explain the details now as well. So to enter, all you need to do is comment down below where you'd want to wear one of these dresses to. Like which event? Is it for your formal? Is it for the races? Is it for a Christmas party or something? And also don't forget to leave a way for me to contact you in case you do win. So maybe your Instagram handle or your email or something. And once you've commented, you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway. And just so you guys know that I'm not just picking a certain person because I like their comment or something. Just wanted to let you know that it will go into like a random generator which like identifies all of the comments and will pick someone at random. And then I'll let them know that they won. There's going to be three giveaways so you could win a Glam Corner dress in either this video, in my next video or the next one. So you could potentially enter on each of them if you want to so you have a higher chance of winning. Also you can choose any dress you want from the website not just the one that I chose so yeah make sure to have a browse before you enter and see if there's any dresses that you love. And finally you'll just need to make sure you follow me on my Instagram which I have on the screen. You need to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn my notifications on. So once you've done all of these steps you'll be entered into the giveaway and I'll announce the winner in a week's time on my Instagram so make sure to look out for that. But if you don't have Instagram I'll make sure to email you or something so don't worry about that. Also don't forget that you can enter the giveaway again on my next two videos coming out so you'll have an even better chance of winning one of the dresses. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!